holiday flights. 12 and 12 starts right now. 12 minutes, no commercials on TV and on the go on the 12 News app, Facebook and YouTube. Hey guys, it's Tram here. Up first, today's talker. Does Facebook have too much power to influence elections? This after Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg blasted presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren to employees and her plan to break up big tech companies. So what do you think? Cast your vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or comment down below if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. The results, minutes away. Hashtag most clicked. Here are the stories piquing your interest right now. And up first, a sad day for your Arizona Cardinals. The team tweeting out the owner, William Bidwell, has passed away. He had been the sole owner since 1972 and co-owned the team with his brother for 10 years before that. Bill Bidwell moved the team to Phoenix before the 1988 season, and the Cardinals have been here ever since. The team has been in the Bidwell family since the 1930s. Bidwell's sons, Michael and Bill Jr., serve as team president and VP. Bill Bidwell was 88 years old. Number two, the sentencing phase is underway in the trial of a former cop convicted of murder. Jurors finding Amber Geiger guilty of murder after shooting and killing Botham Jean in his apartment. New video now of Geiger being booked into the Dallas County Jail. She shot and killed the 26-year-old thinking she was in her apartment and acted in self-defense. Jean's mother taking the stand as jurors decide Geiger's sentence. My life has not been the same. It's just been like a roller coaster. I cannot sleep. I cannot eat. It's it's just been the most terrible time for me. Geiger faces between five and 99 years in prison. Number three most clicked new video of yet another wrong way driver here in the valley. Take a look at the woman driving the wrong way going south in the northbound lanes of I-17 very early this morning. DPS troopers stopping the woman's Jeep near Northern. Investigators suspect April Marquez may have been drunk at the time while coming close to a few other cars. Luckily, she didn't hit anyone. Number four, Microsoft is debuting several new tech toys. The tech giant unveiling new Surface earbuds, which will sell for 249 bucks and work with any platform. But the coolest thing, Surface Neo. Now it's basically two tablets linked together like a laptop that you can hold vertically for two side-by-side -side screens or a variety of other angles. It'll come with a magnetic keyboard too, offering laptop-like capabilities. There's also the Surface Duo, which is the size of a phone, but you'll have to wait until late next year to get them. 12 and 12 loves to save you money. And if you want to get away from work or the kids, here's your chance. Southwest Airlines is back with its annual 72 hour winter fare sale. You can find one way flights for as low as 49 bucks. The sale runs through tomorrow. It covers trips between November 13th and February 12th. However, Southwest excludes most Friday and Sunday flights, along with dates near Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's. And you know what? Speaking of the holidays, what is the best time to buy in order to save the most money? Experts say you should be tracking fares right now. And the deadline to get the best deals and deals is coming up soon. Tom telling us what we need to know. Kids are just back in school. It's not even Halloween yet, but have you booked your Thanksgiving and December airline tickets yet? Not yet. <laughs> so yes, yes. I've already booked my Christmas travel as well as, you know, Thanksgiving. If you haven't, you're not alone, but if you want the best price, time's a wasted. We recommend that travelers who are planning to fly for Thanksgiving and Christmas start tracking prices now and expect to book their flights for both holidays before Halloween. Play that one more time. And expect to book their flights for both holidays before Halloween. Here's why. Ticket prices for both Thanksgiving and Christmas are expected to change 100 times between now and then, mostly going up. Hopper.com says over the last three weeks before Thanksgiving, prices can jump $5 to $10 each day. Same thing happens before Christmas. And here's a tip. Traveling the Sunday or Monday before Thanksgiving is often 20% cheaper, while Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are the cheapest. However, both United and American Airlines are hoping the still-grounded 737 MAX will be approved to fly again by mid-December. If not, they'll have fewer planes to fly. 
If the MAX does fly, the CEO of United tells me passengers can always opt not to fly the MAX if they're uncomfortable. We are more than happy to rebook you in a different, uh, on a different aircraft at a different time. Passengers can say, I'm sorry, I don't want to go on this plane. Yeah. But first, you got to buy a ticket. And if you wait, say the pros, you may end up leaving at the wrong time, making a layover, stuck in the middle seat. Start watching prices now. Tracking them with a price monitoring software is a great idea. And plan to book before the end of October. Now in your pulse on health, more sad news tied to the vaping epidemic. Health officials are now confirming that a woman in New Jersey has died as a result of vaping. Now they're not giving full details, but it does come in the wake of more than a dozen deaths across America. More than 800 people, including at least three here in Maricopa County, have gotten sick from vaping. Taking antidepressants during pregnancy can increase your risk of developing gestational diabetes. A Canadian study finds expectant moms taking antidepressants are 19% more likely to be diagnosed than pregnant moms not taking them. Children of these pregnancies may be more vulnerable to obesity and diabetes later in life. Well, we're now in October, so are we done with the triple digits? Crystal joining us with our forecast 411. The pumpkins are ready for picking. Thanks to 12 News weather watcher Frank for capturing this fun fall photo in the White Mountains. This is what October looks like in Phoenix. We kick things off with an average low temperature around 71, but by the end of October, it drops to 59. As far as high temperatures, 94 to start, that drops to 83 for an average high. We average just over a half of an inch of rainfall, and the chance of 100 degrees in October is 50%. Tonight, below average low temperatures as the mercury drops to 67 at a minimum in Phoenix. Open the windows, let the fresh air in. 58 tonight in Sedona, 42 in Flagstaff. Tomorrow in Kingman, mid 80s. On the cusp of 80 in Payson and mid 90s for Phoenix. Yep, we're back above average. This sunshine has some serious staying power and high pressure is going to do its part to get that mercury climbing to near 100 degrees by the end of the weekend. Time for the daily juice and some sad news for Beyonce's dad. Matthew Knowles says he has breast cancer. Now that's pretty rare in men. They account for only about 1% of cases. Still no word on when doctors diagnosed the 67 year old, but there is good news. The survival rate is high. About 84% of men live five years beyond their diagnosis. Of course, we wish Matthew Knowles the very best. Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott appear to be taking some time apart, but a source tells People Magazine that the two have some trust issues and other problems stemming from their lifestyles. They've been together for two years and they have baby girl Stormy together. She's a year old. Kylie and Travis have yet to officially confirm the break. Now to Tyler Perry, the actor, writer, director and producer now has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And he's telling Ellen about the experience and the celeb who stole his spotlight. It's, it's surreal. It's so surreal. I think, might I say, long, long past due. You should have had a star. I mean, it's, it's, it's great that you have, but I mean, with all you've accomplished, I mean, this is, it's about time. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thank no, you. seriously. Thank you. But they didn't make me feel like a star because in the next moment, right after this, we're taking this picture and the photographer's here and Kerry Washington walks past and they're like, Tyler, Kerry, Kerry, this is starts to, but I wish they could zoom in on my face, look at her, she's walking past. It's uh, just like, I'm like, will you get out of the way, girl? Yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's so my good. star. It's so good, that's right, that's yeah. right, that's right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Oh, that is hilarious. Carrie there paying tribute to Tyler. Tyler also tells Ellen about the strangest thing he has seen at his house in Wyoming. You definitely don't want to miss it today at 3, only on 12 News. I love him. Well, from the small screen to the theater, Kinky Boots is playing in the Valley. Colleen taking us a backstage behind the scenes of the musical that's likely to get you on your feet in today's A to Z 60. Coming to life on stage at the Phoenix Theater Company, the fabulous Everybody underdog story of Kinky Boots. Everybody say yeah, yeah. It is just a party musical that thrusts off the stage into the audience. My character Charlie Price inherits the shoe factory from his father. Unfortunately, the shoe factory is going bankrupt fast. In search of a solution, a drag queen named Lola helps him find it. So these are the Kinky Boots. 
that saved the factory. 19 local Arizonans are a part of the production, and the Phoenix Theater Company is going all out to bring the show here. It is a labor of love. You like all the walls are like hand painted in house. Here are a few of the Angels finale costumes. All of this detail is done in house. Here are just a few more wigs that you'll see in the show. The musical complete with Cindy Lauper hits with a deeper message. Finding what makes you similar to other people instead of finding what makes you different. The show runs through October 13th. You can grab your tickets online at phoenixtheater.com. And that's your A to Z 60. Well, let's get back to today's talker. Does Facebook have too much power to influence elections? During internal meetings, CEO Mark Zuckerberg blasted presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren's plan to break up big tech companies. Facebook also owns Instagram and WhatsApp, the most popular mobile messenger app worldwide. Apparently 73% of you say yes, Facebook does have too much power to influence elections versus 27% of you say no. Keep on voting on 12news.com slash bullhorn and those of you watching on Facebook and YouTube, feel free to comment down below. And that is your 12 at 12. The facts on everything you need to know in just 12 minutes. No commercials. We're always on anywhere, anytime on 12news.com, the 12 News app and our socials as well. We'll see you back here again soon. Now let's check in with Destry to see what's next on Arizona Midday. Coming up on Arizona Midday, we have fall crafts that you're gonna love and I have to show you this, okay?